R and S configuration. I will teach you the complete concept and important questions of R and S configuration. Firstly, let me teach you that what is R and S configuration? Well, let us consider the structure of this organic compound. We know that this is chiral carbon because there are four different groups present around it. Now in 3D, there are two possibilities of this structure. In the first case, there is possibility that this bromine is present above the plan. While in the second case, there is possibility that this bromine is present below the plan. Thus, there are two possible structures of this organic compound in 3D. Therefore, we define R and S configuration as the different ways to arrange atoms around a chiral carbon is called R and S configuration. Let me repeat it. The different ways to arrange atoms around a chiral carbon is called R and S configuration. Remember that R stands for clockwise rotation and S stands for anti-clockwise rotation. To conclude this whole concept, we say that R and S configuration help to determine the 3D structure of a molecule. Hence note it down this basic concept of R and S configuration. Now we will learn R and S configuration of wedge dash structures. Remember that R stands for clockwise rotation, S stands for anti-clockwise rotation. Also remember that rotation is always from 1 to 2, 2 to 3. We always neglect the fourth position. Now consider this organic compound. We know that this is chiral carbon. So R and S configuration is possible in this organic compound. Now listen carefully. Priority of a group depends on atomic number. Let me repeat it. Priority of a group depends on atomic number. Here, bromine has the largest atomic number. So first priority is given to bromine group. Secondly, the chlorine has larger atomic number. So second priority is given to the chlorine. Thirdly, oxygen has larger atomic number. So third priority is given to oxygen. Fourthly, hydrogen has the least atomic number. So less priority is given to hydrogen. That's why we call it LPG or least priority group. Now according to the rule, we go from 1 to 2, then 2 to 3 and we skip the fourth position. We can see that this is clockwise rotation. So the configuration of this organic compound is R. I write LPG or hydrogen is present at the dash position. So the result is R configuration. Thus the configuration of this organic compound is R. Secondly, consider this organic compound. We can see that this is chiral carbon because four different groups are present around it. We know that priority is given to the group having larger atomic number. Here iodine has the largest atomic number. So first priority is given to iodine. Second priority is given to the bromine. Third priority is given to the fluorine. And hydrogen is LPG. Now I go from first position to the second position. Then second to the third position. And I skip the fourth position. We can see that this rotation is clockwise. According to the rule, clockwise rotation is known as R configuration. So the configuration of this compound is R. But wait a minute. We can see that LPG or hydrogen is present at the wedge position. Remember that if LPG is present at wedge position, reverse the direction of rotation. Let me repeat it. If LPG is present at wedge position, reverse the direction of rotation. So I reverse the direction of this rotation. Now this rotation is anti-clockwise rotation. 
according to the rule anti clockwise rotation is s configuration so the configuration of this organic compound is s configuration hence note it down this important example now consider this organic compound we know that priority is given to a group having highest atomic number chlorine has larger atomic number so first priority is given to chlorine now at the second and at the third position there are carbon in such cases we give priority to the one which has higher carbon number let me repeat it we give priority to the one which has higher carbon number second position is given to the ethyl third priority is given to the methyl now i go from first position to the second position then from second position to the third position this is clockwise rotation so it has r configuration also we can see that lpg is present at the dash position so the final configuration of this organic compound is r configuration hence note it down this important example now consider this organic compound pause the video and try to find its r and s configuration well we know that this is chiral carbon let i write here one and i write here two now i write here the chiral carbon we can see that at the dash position there is chlorine at the which position there is hydrogen while at the first position there is methyl ch3 at the second position there is ethyl ch2 ch3 so this is the structure of this organic compound according to the rule chlorine is given first priority then the second priority is given to ethyl because it has more carbon atoms than methyl the third priority is given to methyl and hydrogen is lpg now i go from first position to the second position then from second position to the third position we can see that this is clockwise rotation or r configuration but wait a minute here lpg or hydrogen is present at the wedge we already know that if hydrogen is present at the wedge position we will reverse the direction so i reverse the direction of this organic compound so this organic compound has s configuration thus using this easy method we can easily assign r and s configuration to any wedge dash structure now we will learn r and s configuration of fischer projection structure remember that we always transfer lpg to the bottom position in fischer projection consider this organic compound we can see that here lpg is present at the right hand side in such cases i do not rotate the top group i only rotate the remaining three groups in clockwise direction i mean i transfer hydrogen to the position of chlorine i transfer chlorine to the position of bromine and i transfer bromine to the position of hydrogen now i write here fluorine i write here hydrogen then i write chlorine and then i write bromine now the lpg or hydrogen is present at the bottom we know that bromine is given first priority chlorine is given second priority and fluorine is given the third priority while hydrogen is lpg so i go from first to the second position then second to the third position this is clockwise rotation or r configuration so the configuration of this organic compound is r secondly consider this organic compound we can see that lpg or hydrogen is present at the left hand side i do not rotate the top group i only rotate the remaining three groups and anti clockwise direction i mean i shift hydrogen to the position of bromine i shift bromine to the position of oxygen and i shift oxygen to the position of hydrogen i write 
iodine. I write here hydrogen, then bromine, then oxygen. We know that iodine has larger atomic number. So first priority is given to iodine, then to bromine, then to oxygen. I go from first to the second position, from second to the third position. We can see that this is clockwise rotation. So our configuration is given to this organic compound. Thus the configuration of this organic compound is R. Now consider this organic compound. We can see that LPG or hydrogen is present at the top position. In such case, I transfer up to down and left to right. I mean, I transfer hydrogen from the top position to the down position. I transfer chlorine from the left position to the right position and vice versa. I write here fluorine. I write here hydrogen. I write here chlorine. I write here bromine. Now bromine has the larger atomic number. I write 1. Chlorine has larger atomic number. I write here 2. Then fluorine has larger atomic number. I write here 3. Hydrogen is LPG. I go from first position to the second position. Then from second position to the third position. We can see that this is anti-clockwise rotation. So this organic compound has S configuration. Finally, consider this organic compound. Firstly, we will give priority to the groups. We know that oxygen has larger atomic number. So first priority is given to oxygen. Secondly, nitrogen has larger atomic number. So second priority is given to nitrogen. Thirdly, this is methyl and this is ethyl. So the third priority is given to ethyl and the fourth priority or LPG is methyl. Now listen carefully. LPG is present at the right position. We know that we will transfer LPG to the bottom in clockwise direction. I write here OH as it is. Now I write methyl CH3 here. Then I shift NH2 here. I write ethyl here. Now again I will give priority numbers to the group. We know that oxygen is given first priority. Nitrogen is given second priority. Ethyl is given third priority. And CH3 or LPG is present at the fourth position. I go from first to the second position. Then from second to the third position. We can see that this is anti-clockwise rotation. Hence this organic compound has S configuration. Thus using this method, we can easily crack any question of R and S configuration.